This was going to be a very simple project. And then we decided to take down a wall. Hello everybody, welcome back to episode two of our Little House series. I have some exciting things to share with you today. So if this is your first time joining me here on Yard Sale Squad, I usually share about secondhand shopping and our life as a family. And recently we have embarked on refinishing and renovating a single wide mobile home. So this will be our new home for the next however long. And so we really wanted to find that balance of putting into it, but also not putting too much into it because it is what it is. Um, it is a manufactured home, it is a single wide, and so we don't want the best of the best going into it, but we do also wanna be really selective with our materials. So like the title said, we took a wall down. So when we first started this project, I would have friends come over and they would say, you know, uh, in the last video I talked about the fluorescent light boxes on the kitchen ceiling, and I would have friends say, what are you gonna do about those? And I'd say, oh, we're not gonna mess with it. And then I would have people say, what about this wall? Are you gonna do anything? And I was like, no, that's too much work. We don't want to address it. But it's funny, what happens is you're in a space for an extended period of time. And kind of my time over here has just been little pockets whenever I am able to fit it in amidst normal everyday life. So it's not uncommon for me to come a few hours every day to come by myself whenever I have somebody to help me out with childcare. And I was just sitting here one day in the kitchen and I had mapped everything out and I was sitting kind of in the kitchen in the state that it was, just kind of in the middle of everything. And I'm just staring at this wall. So when you walk in, you walk into the kitchen and immediately to your left, there was a wall just a very skinny section of a wall, and then you could walk on either side of it to get in between the living room and the kitchen. I was very torn because I had already kind of mapped out how I wanted the living room to be, and I will share that in a separate video, but that wall between the kitchen and the living room, that's where the TV was going to stand. And one thing you'll hear me talk about, I don't want to plan the living room around the television. I don't want that to be the main focal point always, but I think that it is something that we want to have and it's something that, you know, you need to logically think about where you want to put it. So that wall was my choice spot. I bought an antique dresser and I wanted to use that as like kind of the TV stand, house things inside of it. I'd already researched, you know, different ways to do that. I'd looked up blogs of how people have done that, was really excited. But the more I sat and stared at this little skinny wall, I just thought, it would open up this space so much more to get rid of it. So I talked to our handyman about this. We thought we were a go, and somehow we just did not think about the fact that there was a light switch there, which would mean rerouting wiring. So he called and he said, you know, I have some bad news. We kind of, this was an oversight. We could just leave the wall or we could put a column at the corner of the island and we talked about those options and we thought about those options and we just really did not like either one of those options. So he was gracious enough to take the wall down and redo the wiring entirely. So we have actually, or he has actually redone the wiring and then has patched over the ceiling and then resprayed. That's one thing that we just decided to keep was the sprayed ceiling. We're not messing with scraping all of that off. So I'm going to show you kind of some before here of what it looked like with that wall. If you saw my first episode, that wall was connected to that little L-shaped countertop piece that was lower than the rest of the countertop. So when the wall came down, that also came down. And like I mentioned in the other video, we are doing one level of countertop on the island and we will have bar stools there. So that got rid of that little L shape. And then of course that completely opened up so that the kitchen and the living room are more one space. On one hand, this was like kind of scary because you do wanna have like open spaces, but also in a space so small, it's like, do I, but do I want that separation? You know, would I like to have 
a little bit of a barrier between the kitchen and the living room. But the way that the wall was constructed, it's just, it's kind of funny looking. And I think that it looks so much better having it gone. One of our concerns was whether or not it might be load bearing. And most of the time, most of the time, uh, in single wides, the load bearing walls are limited to the exterior walls. A lot of times they are built with the exterior and then they come back in and add those interior walls. So that's what we feel like was done here. And I really love the way that it looks being all open. So I'm gonna flip around and show you guys the view from both sides. So this is the new view looking from the kitchen through to the living room. You can see that we have partial painting done here. You can see that we still have the um, pineapple wall print there. I will do a whole separate video talking about our finishes that we've chosen and paint colors and things because painting is not finished yet. Um, you can see the flooring there and I wanna talk more about that. But this is just kind of to give you a view from the kitchen side. You can see the progress that we've made with the paint color. This is the shiitake paint color here on the cabinet. And we also have that paint color on the door. So now this is the new view looking from the living room. And if you can imagine, there was a little skinny wall right there in the center. So automatically, I think you can probably just see how much more that opens up this space. So structurally, I would say that is the biggest change that we have made so far. Um, like I said, a lot of the other changes have just been small cosmetic things, but that was the biggest change, the biggest structural change, the most unexpected thing. I was not thinking we were going to do that, but I really think that it was a good choice for the space. So you guys will have to let me know what you think of the before and after footage and pictures showing the wall there and then showing the wall taken out. I think overall, it's going to be a really good decision. I think that the openness just really helps. And uh, I think that having the flooring now be the same throughout instead of the kitchen and the living room having different flooring, I think that helps. Again, you will, you'll see that more. Uh, as I as I share more about it. The one thing that losing that wall did was throw off my layout for the living room. So that is still up in the air. I'm going to do an entire separate video about the layout of the living room. And I'm gonna have a couple of different scenarios drawn out for you. And you guys can kind of vote on what you think the best one is. It's hard to visualize and Honestly, it's probably gonna be like, we don't figure it out until we get our stuff in here and move it around five different ways. But yeah, that is where we stand right now. I think probably my next video will just be like a catching you up to speed because everything is just happening so fast and I would love to just say, here's where we are with everything so you kind of know. But thank you guys for watching episode two. You'll have to let me know down in the comments what you think and uh, things that you would like to see and I will be talking to you in the next one.